Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing alright this morning. Our prayer request today, pray for Sharon Lawson and her family. They're having a lot of sickness. Uh, Sharon, if you see this, how, let us know how you're, um, if you're doing any better or anything or your family. Uh, Lisa's granddaughter's better, but her daughter caught COVID now. Uh, she's taking a new COVID drug and it's helping. And Lisa, how is she? How is your uh, daughter doing? Is she is she getting still getting better, or is she better now? I hope so. Uh, Amy's grandmother is doing much better now. Her flu turned uh, into a cold, but she's getting her strength back. Pray for Rhonda's friend Kimberly. She has cancer. Pray for Denise. She had a stroke and is paralyzed on the right side. Uh, Ellen's neighbor is doing better after starting chemo. Uh, she is fixing dinners for him a few nights a week. That's very, very nice of her. She said she was fixing like bulk, you know, bulk recipes. So let's have several meals out of each one. Okay. And our scripture today comes from Acts 2, 42 through 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Hold on just a Okay, sorry about that. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere, sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Oh, did I? Oh, here it is. All right. And our devotion today is entitled, Better Together. Marie, a single working mom, rarely missed church or Bible study. Each week she rode the bus to and from church with her five children and helped with set up and clean up. One Sunday the pastor told Marie that some church members had donated gifts for the family. One couple provided the family a house with reduced rent. Another couple offered her a job with benefits at their coffee shop. A young man gave her an old car he'd rebuilt and promised to serve as her personal mechanic. Marie thanked God for the joy of living in a community devoted to serving God and each other. Though we may not all be able to give as generously as Marie's church family, God's people are designed to help each other. The Gospel writer Luke described believers in Jesus as devoted to the apostles, teaching and to fellowship. When we combine our resources, we can work together to help those in need like the first believers in Jesus did. As we go, grow closer to God and each other, we can care for one another. Witnessing God's love demonstrated through his people's actions can lead others to a saving relationship with Jesus. We can serve others with a smile or a kind deed. We can offer a financial gift or a prayer. As God works in and through us, we're simply better together. Why is it important to experience a community devoted to serving God and each other? How can you serve someone selflessly and generously this week? Loving Father, please help me see those in need and serve you by serving others. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning and I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.